So here we are with this year's edition of Global Warming. It's hard to deny when you're walking in it. This is sea level rise at work in Delray Beach, Florida. You can see it coming right out of the intercoastal. Now when they built these houses, they didn't build them with the assumption that they'd have a natural swimming pool out front. But that's exactly what they got. Now I have no idea why the city didn't protect these people, why there aren't sandbags out here. I do know a couple of years ago, one of the longtime residents built his own seawall and the city told him it had to be torn down. And they said that they had their own seawall they were gonna build and that would protect them on this side. Now they built a seawall just to the north of here on the other side of our intercoastal bridge, which is working pretty well. But there's still a problem. The problem with seawalls is you build it and you put the water somewhere else. And some of this water may be a result of that seawall. The other problem we have in South Florida is that we're built, the whole thing is built on top of porous limestone, which means the pressure from this seawater underground meets fresh water coming out of the Everglades and it causes a lens effect. So in some areas south of here, the um, septic tanks inland are not working because the sewage has no place to go because the water table's too high. And the other problem is, is there's literally street flooding inland of the intercoastal, of the ocean. And people are putting up with this up and down our coast. And Delray is absolutely one of the worst for this. But, and this has been going on for years. So, I mean, I just have to ask, if you knew this was gonna happen, why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you protect these people? One of the first jobs of government is to protect life and property. So, someone should have done something. This isn't a surprise, it happens every fall with the king tides, and it gets worse as the years go on, as the ice sheets melt, as the glaciers melt, we're ending up with this. So anyone who denies sea level rise or global warming needs to walk in it. And anyone who thinks this isn't a critical issue needs to get involved. This is bad. And this is just the beginning. And if we don't start doing some extreme things, to straighten this out, this water is going to be well inland and people are going to be dealing with it. And, you know, there's billions and billions of dollars worth of property, and that's bad enough, but it's also affecting people's lives and livelihoods. And you just have to stand in it to understand this water isn't just going to stop on its own. We got to change our ways. And I've actually, to tell you the truth, I've seen it even worse than this, so. You just gotta, you just gotta wonder where are we headed? And I hope that whenever we have the King Tides, and I just met a woman who did this, that people bring their kids down to see this, because this is the beginning. And I'm actually recording this as much to document what's going on right now as to show the kids that this was no surprise to us, that we let a lot of politics and not a lot of common sense rule our decisions. And we let a lot of uh, moneyed interests decide how things were gonna go. And I guarantee you, when this hits the fan for everybody, they're gonna whistle and walk away. They always do. They'll whistle and walk away, and we're gonna get stuck with the bill. We're gonna get stuck with the bill. Our kids are gonna get stuck with the bill and it's not going to be fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video, but not too much, and I'll keep in touch.